Do you sometimes feel uninspired because of the maybe urban environment that you live in that you just don't see anything that's interesting to photograph? Well, let me show you something. I'm going to flip my camera here so you can see. I am just finished getting groceries in this normal parking lot and of course we have uh, what we would say is just an ugly former rock quarry. However, whenever we actually spend time, even five minutes, just to look around and look for design type shots. Let me show you what uh, I'm thinking. So I am going to zoom in. I have an iPhone with a uh, two cameras on it. So I can actually zoom in a little bit. And what I see here out of this sort of jumbled mess is a design element. So I'm looking and seeing a really interesting triangle situation. And whenever we can have geometric forms in our picture, we're really going to win. So what I'm going to do is take the picture using the Adobe Lightroom CC mobile app. Now I'm going to pull up the picture and take a look at it. Well, it's okay. However, whenever we're dealing, sorry, whenever we're dealing with design type shots like this, it's always really valuable to start out in black and white because this type of shot, especially if it's monochromatic, looks great in black and white. So let's go to our image. We're going to pull it up. And the first thing is, is that, uh, well, I'm going to switch to black and white, obviously. So we're going to go to uh, color. And we have a little B and W. So that's black and white. We're going to tap black and white. And already it's much better. So let's take a look. However, I think that we can make it even more interesting. Now, as you can see at the top right, we have trees. We don't want them. So we're going to crop them out. Now, if you ever have a situation where you're trying to crop out something from the top, bottom, left or right, uh, you have an as and you have an aspect ratio problem where you, you uh, are getting a smaller picture all around and you don't want that, at the bottom there's a little locked sign. Tap on the lock until it becomes free. And then that's called a free crop, and you can crop as you like, okay? So we want to have the width, we just want to be able to adjust the height. Now, the another, th another thing that I like to do is if I'm going to have a crop that's almost square, I might as well make it square anyway. So I'm going to go to custom, and I'm going to go one to one square, okay? So this is really good for Instagram, and also good for Facebook. So I feel that this is a good crop here because I didn't want to get the trees at the top left. And I don't mind that there's a huge rock, a couple rocks at the bottom. I actually like that. So I'm going to go to the bottom right, accept the crop, and I'm really liking what I see. Now one thing that I could do further, now this is an extra step that I believe involves purchasing the monthly plan from Adobe for the Lightroom app. I'm going to go to Selective. I'm going to go to the plus at the top left. I'm going to go to my linear gradient. And what I'm going to do is sort of um, adjust only the top right triangle. Okay? And I'm going to get to the triangle on the left as well in a second. But what I'm going to do is go to effects. And I'm going to go to clarity. And clarity has a, the ability, if I go left, as you can see, it gets soft. But Clarity has the ability to make your image look crunchier. Now, when I say crunchier, it's sort of, um, it's hard to explain. It's sort of like a mid-tone contrast or a way to add contrast to your picture but not have blown out highlights. Okay, so I like that. I'm going to go to plus and add another one, the exact same. It's called the linear gradient. And I'm just going to bring it down on this triangle. Now, as you can see, I'm not doing anything with the bottom triangle, the loose rock. I'm only dealing with the rock wall. So I'm going to go to Effects again and increase the clarity. Now, increasing, increasing clarity looks good for black and whites, especially with rocks. Okay, now the thing is, do I want to have a different amount of brightness? Let's take a look. We're going to go to Light and go to Exposure. So as you can see, we can independently adjust that triangle with exposure and I feel that probably a plus zero point uh, sorry point zero five is fine uh, let's go back to the other triangle by tapping that little uh, square little blue square and independently as you can see I'm just doing just adjusting that triangle itself 
Okay, I like that. So I'm going to click on my bottom right check mark. And overall, I feel that's a really quick and easy black and white. Now, there's a lot more that we could be doing to this picture, but I want to get this video done in 10 minutes so it'll be accessible for IGTV viewers. So I'm going to stop here and uh, tell me if you like it. Tell me if there's anything that you would do further to this picture to make it more interesting.